Today we're going to make the 30 piece sphere. I've already started by laying out two rows that will actually be my fourth and fifth row as you can see on the top. The fifth row is five pieces. The fourth row is five pieces. The third row we're going to lay out horizontal, vertical. And we're going to continue this one after another until all ten pieces are laid out. This will make good sense when making the lamp. So we have our third row complete. The fourth row I've already pre-counted five pieces. So we'll lay out five pieces across. It's important to note that light, as we talked earlier, the difference between a front piece and a back piece, front going upward, flipping it over, and back going downward. The entire sphere is made of front pieces. So you want to make sure not to flip the piece over. So I'm going to lay out my first row, and then we'll start making the ball. So this is how the diagram should look. Starting with the first row, we're going to pick up the first two pieces. My left hand is holding a vertical piece where the piece is up and down with the straight sides on the left and right. My curves are on the top and the bottom. This is always a vertical piece. I'm going to take the second piece and I'm going to turn it horizontal where round edge meets straight edge. I'm going to connect the bottom, bend, and connect the top. Again, just connect the bottom and then the top. And this is the start of our first row. I want to turn this clockwise. Be sure not to turn it counterclockwise. So I'm going to make a quarter turn to the left, pick up the third piece, I'm going to turn it to a horizontal, and you can see that round connects to a straight edge. I'm going to connect the center first, position my hand so that I can bend the, pe the piece and connect the tab. You can see that I'm already lined up with my vertical, so for the fourth piece, I turn horizontal again connect the center. If a piece comes off just like it did, that's okay. Continue on to where we have our three pieces and start your fourth piece again. Make it horizontal, connect your center, and connect the bottom. You can see that I have almost a five-sided star. I'm missing the fifth side, which will go right here. The fifth piece, I'm going to turn horizontal, and you can see that it lines up to the straight edge, but I need to connect underneath. So I bring the piece over and connect underneath the center, connect the bottom, and I need to complete the row. And I've made my first row, which is a five-piece star. Moving on to the second row, I want to position my left hand holding the lamp so that it looks vertical. Picking up the second row first piece, turn it horizontal. Again, connecting the round to the straight. Now I have three tabs here, just like a puzzle piece, you can see that I connect the top left, the middle, and the right. So I want to connect the center first, connect the top, rotate and connect the third side, always leaving the fourth tab in this row to connect onto the third row. I'm going to continue doing the same repetitive motion, making it horizontal, connecting into the center, to the top, to the side.
Again, horizontal, round to straight, connect the center, top left, to the right side, and the last piece, center, to the top left, to the right. It should now look like a bowl. Moving on to the third row, I have 10 pieces laid out. You can see that they go horizontal to vertical, horizontal to vertical. This is going to be very important as we're building the third row. I have to connect 10 pieces to only 5. That means 2 pieces will connect to 1. I will have a horizontal and I will have a vertical. So starting with the horizontal piece, I need to take my straight line and go behind a round, connecting two sides. Being sure not to connect the third tab because it will start to close inward. We're trying to now build the third row, which is the center, to create the whole ball. So the beginning of the third row should look just like this. And to do that one more time, I'm going to make that the horizontal piece come behind the round edge, connect my right side, connect my left. You can see that then the second piece is vertical and the straight side connects under the round. Connect the bottom, connect the top, connect the bottom right three edges. Moving onward, I'm going to go to horizontal, connect the center, left side, right side. And I'm just going to keep doing this through the whole row, going from horizontal to vertical to horizontal until the row is complete. It's important as you're making the lamp that when you pick up the piece that you don't flip it over. If you do this, you can see that the natural piece, the puzzle piece, does not match up and it will deform the lamp. So when you pick up the piece, make sure that you're just sliding it over and picking it straight up. Again, straight into center, into the round, start in the center. Go to the left, go to the right. I have two pieces left. The first one is a horizontal, connect to the center. Connect the top left, connect the right side. And you can see that my last piece is going to be a vertical. So I'm going to start with the straight side, going underneath the round, connect the bottom left, connect the top left, connect the bottom right to the top right. And the third row is complete. If you see that you have two tabs unhooked, this is OK. Just turn it around and connect the tab to finish it. The third row is complete. Moving on to the fourth row, now I'm going to connect five pieces to ten. That means we need to connect one piece to two. So I'm going to start by holding the horizontal edge taking my vertical, turn it horizontal, rotate it, connect the center, connect the left, connect the right. To do that one more time, I want to hold the third row to where I see horizontal. I'm going to pick up the first piece, rotate it, 
connect the center swooping underneath, connect the top left tab, connect the right tab. And we're going to continue this all the way around the lamp. If you get confused, whereas round goes to round, remember that always the straight line of the piece always connects behind a round edge. So this is why we turn it horizontal, connect the center first, connect the left, connect the right, and it lines us up for the next piece. You'll find that building lava lamps is very repetitive. It's just understanding how the pieces interlock. Every style of lamp that you make connects the same way. The fourth row is done. Now we have to add the fifth row. You can see we started the first row with a star. And we now are going to finish the last row creating the same star. I'm going to take my five pieces from the fifth row, again making sure that they are all going upward, not flipped over going downward from left to right. So five pieces left and we're all finished. Center to the left to the right. The fourth tab is going to be left unattached beginning this row. We'll connect it with our next piece. Again, turn your piece slightly so it's horizontal. Connect your center. Connect the top. And connect the bottom. And then connect the fourth edge. So your first piece will have a, a tab always unattached. As you go to your second piece, all four tabs or hooks will be hooked together. And that will continue all the way around the rest of the row. Don't be afraid to bend the plastic. It's meant to work with you. Make sure though not to bend too much because you don't want to crimp the plastic or it will leave a mark on, on the plastic that when the light shines you will see. The last piece I'm going to start at the center left go down to the bottom right. You want to bend the whole piece so that your fingers are guiding the piece underneath the first piece that we put together. You can see that when I let go, it partially hooks. So all I need to do now is pull this up and around and hook it together. So to do that one more time, this is how our last piece will look. I'm going to bend it underneath, partially hook the top right, and pull and hook the center and our 30-piece sphere is complete.